Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. All right, welcome back. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put the text around that object here. Now this requires a little bit of work. So let's hop into the graph here in our widget here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to show description and we need to add in an input. Okay. And this input, um, we're going to call this position. And I believe it's a vector and it's 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 an interesting vector here. Um, and I think it's just a vector 2D. So what what this is, if we go to info text and we go to sh um, show description, we need a specific position. Well, in order to uh, to add this, we need to set set position in viewport. Okay, and it's a vector 2D. I was right. So this should just hop in here. Now, if we go back into this first person character here, it requires a position. Now, let's just run it for now. Let's see what happens. Nothing happens. It's exactly the same. But if we, let's say, put this to 300 by 300, watch what happens. It changes. Now, remember when I said that this has to be in the top left corner? If I move this over, it moves everything over. Okay, so this has to be mostly at zero zero. Okay, in order for it to work. So let's run that again. And so far, everything's working out. But we don't want the position of any random position. We need this to be a specific position. And that position is uh, a little bit, um, a little bit more interesting to do. So we need to kind of move, get some items here. We need the position of the thing to look at. So how do we do that? Well, let's get actor location. Okay, so we're going to get the actor location. And we're going to um, also get the player controller. And from this here, we need to uh, actually from the player controller first, we need to uh, camera and uh, this is actually not camera, canvas. I'm just going to type in world location. And this is, it should be get player controller. Yep. And it's, just, and it's, and it's convert world location to screen location. That's the one we want right there. So next, what we're going to do is just simply plug this in here and then plug the position in here. So I believe that actually does do everything. Yeah, and you look at that, that is looking pretty good. Now, that that is looking at the world location. Let's take a quick look here. Um, let's add in a print screen, and we will just kind of see what it's doing here. So these are the X and the Y coordinates here. And you'll notice that, you know, mostly the text block is staying the same, but, you know, Having the text box below isn't necessarily a bad idea, but you know you can have it above, and above might be a, a better idea. So how do we do that? Well, let's delete that here, and the world location. All we're going to do is add vector, and we're going to add in a 50 pin vector. And that's just going to move it up 50. So there you go. You can kind of see that that's looking pretty good. Maybe we'll need to make it 100. All right. And then let's compile that. Save it. And there you go. You can see that, you know, if you need to add in any kind of extra um, items there, I think that looks pretty good. Let's also add in, um, I think it's the X. Let's add in the X here. Yeah, there we go. So it's off to the side. I kind of like that a little bit better. Um, maybe 200. Um, one thing you could do is you could add in um, the vector here. 
or you could add it to um, or you could add it here so if I go add vector 2d plus vector 2d that's probably a little bit better of a solution okay and let's add that into the position here and the y will be maybe let's say a hundred and the x will be a hundred so um, I, let's t test that out here and that's the wrong way so negative actually so x is a hundred but y is negative a hundred okay so instead of doing it in z space we're doing it on 2d space because the 2d vector there we go and so that's that's pretty much to the side here I think maybe minus 200 might be a bit better okay so there we go now we have um, oh, it has to be minus 200 of course there we go and yeah I think that's starting to look a little bit better uh, maybe minus 150 and yeah, I think that's probably pretty good here. Um, and of course, it has to be minus 150. I don't know why I'm not pushing that minus sign, but nevertheless, here we go. Okay, so there you go. That is looking pretty good. Okay, so as you can see, this now has uh, the description here. Uh, now, this is technically working, uh, but my um, when I was prototyping this, uh, there was a there was something I added in here, so I might as well add it in here. And uh, let's just add in the event construct here we're gonna set alignment in viewport okay so let's compile that here and let's see if that affects anything and it doesn't really affect it but you should really just set set the alignment there um, I think it does make a bit of a difference if you need to there we go and as you can see look at that it's looking pretty good okay so there we go thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video